Hi, welcome to the second episode of IBM Computer Restoration. So, this episode will cover the keyboard restoration. Uh, this is the actual condition. Uh, the wire seems uh, a little bit stretched and here below there are signs of usage it's missing one one fit so what i'm going to do is to completely disassemble the keyboard to remove all the keys give a nice washes and then see what we will find inside so to open the keyboard it's necessary to use a, 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 what is it it's a quarter inch uh, spanner so this will give us the access to the inside and okay there is a bunch of oxidation over there so uh, let's see how we can proceed okay it seems that uh, is uh, moving freely so let me try to press okay okay so i think that the best way is to remove uh, this connector and then to push the keys which allow us to have the keyboard free so uh, okay let me go ahead with the keys removal okay so uh, the technique to remove the keyboard is quite simple just uh, pulling out with one hand and of course before do that I have taken a uh, few pictures I will go ahead with the removal I don't want to bore you with this uh, removal look at that how oh, dusty all the keys has been removed and yes it's clear that need a lot of care this keyboard and uh, the other part also need uh, a bit of cleaning so it's time for a bath for the keys while the keys are sleeping under water with the soap i have cracked open the keyboard and yeah it looks like a capacitive keyboard i'm not sure but uh, i don't see any contact so it seems that is a capacitive keyboard and what i'm going to do is to remove all these pieces give a good cleaning since uh, over there there is a, a weird uh, contamination which I don't know what is it moreover there is a really crusty foam here which I'm going to to cut and I believe that I will not uh, re uh, install any foam and over there there is a residuous of foam which I'm uh, a little bit uh, suspicious that uh, that could be conductive especially if uh, this keyboard is a capacitive uh, keyboard uh, there is the chance that uh, this dusty can get uh, uh, weird uh, reading in the microprocessor which controls this keyboard actually the keyboard is uh, Keep it with and its own uh, microprocessor, I believe is a microprocessor. This one, 
I don't have any information for the moment. I didn't took any information. However, yes, this is the plan: is to clean everything, remove this uh, crusty form, and let's see if uh, we can uh, reassemble it this way. During the attempt of the form removal, I see that. Uh, all the keys uh, guides are glued to the form so i'm not sure if i will cut just around them or if i will remove everything and i will uh, replace with something else that is a uh, not easy decision to take since uh, Actually, I'm not sure the purpose of this uh, about the purpose of this form. If it is uh, for just a sound feeling when you hit the keys, or if it is uh, something different, uh, or maybe to hold these keys in place here. Actually, I don't know. So. I will try also to find some information in in internet if I can understand better this. So let me try to clean a little bit over there and then see what what will be the strategy about the form. Okay, so while the keys are still under water, I get uh, uh, cleaning to the keyboard bezel and uh, i have to say that the result uh, is quite nice and i had also on this point uh, rust uh, residuals which is gone completely uh, there is some shadow but it's only because of the light the plastic is uh, really clean now so uh, let's go ahead with the cleaning of the keys all the keys are clean so I'm going to clean this board and what I have here is basically glue with white uh, color and what I'm going to do is to use uh, alcohol in order to melt down the glue and the color and after this I use this way then later with uh, paper together with alcohol I am going to remove the residuals and clean it up so I will do off camera all the process and then see the final result the cleaning process is finished so it's not uh, really perfect. There are some oxidation signs over there, but it's not too bad. Uh, backside is also better. And here where the electronics uh, uh, populate the board, well, it's nice and clean. The connector is uh, nice and clean. So, I think next step is to fix this problem. So, I want to remove uh, the total amount of the rubber and, and I will install without it. But the crusty form has been removed and look at the residuals, uh, the, the dusty that has generated. So it's clear that uh, that was uh, absolutely necessary to be removed. Uh, but what I wanna do is not to remove the glue residues that remain on those leaves, because uh, I think it can be of help uh, when, we, when I will reassemble on the front plate. So what I'm going to do is to wash all these leaves in a cold water with soap 
So just to remove the dust the, that the foam has generated and uh, to clean and, and dry, but without the removal of the glue residues, which I believe uh, would be necessary to use alcohol. So let's go to see if uh, it can be done in this way. Okay, so while the key sleeves are making the soapy bath, I'm going to take care of the bottom cover of the keyboard that not like the upper one that is plastic, this is a metal one. So here I have uh, rust residues, so it's uh, like the monitor. So I'm going to apply this product. Look at that. I'm going to spread a little bit and I'm going to leave a uh, few minutes in order to give the liquid to make uh, the effect a little bit more so let's see the result in a few minutes so this is the result just after the washing so all the rust residues is removed so now i will spray all the unit with uh, a grease removal use it for uh, kitchen cleanings and this should be enough for cleaning the this part so let's see the final result so this is the final result and over here I still have a glue residues that is really hard to remove. This is the glue uh, residues of the label that uh, were sticked here. Uh, the, I have saved the label. I'm going to uh, stick in a different way because there was uh, really big uh, pieces of tape around, but just below, not in the top. In fact, uh, I was thinking that was a protection for the label but I was wrong, it was just a double, double side tape and the, the label was uh, sticked on the double side tape and uh, that is uh, really bad. Let's go ahead with the metal works uh, uh, cleaning, the oxidation and what will be necessary. The metal works are cleaned, I have removed all the oxidation that I could uh, they are not perfect but uh, I think I can uh, I can leave like that this is uh, almost uh, uh, crusty glue residues and yeah you have removed all the oxidation that I could with this uh, brass brushes so it's time to uh, wash the uh, key keys uh, uh, sleeves and reassemble all the keyboards. Okay, everything is clean and dry. So I'm going to install the sleeves on the plate. I have raised it from the bench with two pieces of block, uh, two block of wood, uh, in order to have free space below here. So I am going to install all these sleeves and then uh, continue with the reassembly of the keyboard. All these sleeves are back in place, and it seems that has been a good idea to don't remove the glue. Since uh, I left them uh, under the sun and uh, the small glue residues that uh, remain on them, it has been revived a little bit. So uh, it's a sort of uh, 
uh, shock absorber. Uh, and it's nice. I think that uh, the feeling in the end will be nice. So it's time to reinstall all these uh, components that are going inside, I believe, this way. Okay, so I will continue to insert all of them and then uh, let's see the result. All the parts are back in place. And so before the installation of the PCB, it seems a good idea to install the space bar since it uh, should be latched to this metal uh, spring. So it seems more comfortable to install right now. Look at that. All the keys are in place and the sound is uh, really nice. So time to close the keyboard. Wait a minute. Before to close the keyboard, I need to take care of this cable. It's well closed. So there is no wire exposed anymore. For the moment, I'm going ahead to uh, close the keyboard. Actually, not really close because I want to apply some power to the board before to close. Because I check in the manual, uh, we have uh, essentially three signals. Uh, plus five the clock signal and the data output signal. Of course, the ground is the fourth. Uh, what I want to do is to give uh, the plus five signal uh, rising up slow, slowly the uh, voltage with the external power supply that I have here, uh, because I don't, want to, I don't want to get a shock to the microprocessor and the other chip that populate the bird. Uh, connecting to the computer uh, and powering on. Since uh, the, this keyboard is over 30 years that is off. So I have applied uh, slowly up to 5 volts. Now I'm really current. I'm around uh, 100 milliamps. And yeah, voltage is 5 volts, spot on. So the ICs are quite uh, cold, so the signs are good. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. Uh, really nice. The system is becoming to have its form. However, this body is useless without its brain. So, time to repair the actual computer. So, this is the end of part two, and part three will be the repair or the attempt of repair of the computer. See you soon.